One of the new ministries that we're offering here at St. Thomas Aquinas is our prayer team healing ministry. And this is a great opportunity for us to be able to offer to the people of our parish um, after Mass on the first Sunday of every month. Basically, we have two um, team members that will be able to pray with people um, after Mass when people come forward to want to pray for healing or any other kind of miracle in their life. All of our prayer team members have been trained and most of them have been trained through the Encounter School of Healing where they learned this type of prayer and they learned um, that this prayer comes from the grace that they received at their baptism. And so they, they, they have these beautiful prayers that they pray over people and we do expect miracles to happen. We do expect um, Jesus to hear and answer our prayers. And we also hope that people feel loved by God and loved by our community here when they're prayed over. And we always pray that God's will be done in our lives. One of the things that surprised me when I began studying the new evangelization is how important healing is in, in the enterprise of evangelizing. That people um, oftentimes are moved to faith in Christ through healing. And there's so many people, so many of us, um, that are in need of healing in our lives. And when we can have that healing, we're more open to a relationship with Christ. And I, I don't know why this was even so surprising to me, because it is a very prevalent aspect of Jesus' own ministry when we read about Jesus in the Gospels. Um, he almost always um, had healing accompany um, his ministry and his preaching of the good news of salvation. And so this really shouldn't be surprising to me, but it was. And um, we are grateful that we're able to understand this better as we continue to become an evangelizing parish. Sometimes people have uh, told me that this doesn't feel Catholic to them, or they don't, they don't have this experience in their own Catholic faith, and they wonder if this is Catholic or not. And it truly is Catholic because it is so biblical. And as Catholics, we do believe in the Bible. And we know that um, Jesus gave this authority and power to his disciples to heal in his name and, and to do even more wonders than, than Jesus himself did. Um, this was a promise that he made to us. And, and Deacon Keith Strom made another strong point when he was here for our parish renewal. And he reminded us that as Catholics, we believe in the great miracle every Mass where the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus. And so as Catholics, we believe in this miracle and we should be able to also believe in even lesser miracles of, of healings and, and other, and other uh, miracles that, that happen. And so we want to be people of faith and, and people who believe in miracles and, and people who believe in Jesus' love for us and his love for us to want to heal us and answer our prayers. So I encourage you uh, the next time we offer our healing ministry to come forward. Um, we have the healing ministry every first Sunday of the month after Mass. You can come forward at that time in whatever area in your life that is in need of healing, whether you have cancer or you have a physical ailment, um, any kind of um, healing that you're looking for in your life. It could also be a prayer for forgiveness to help heal from hurt relationships or um, other difficulties that you have um, in your life. Um, we also can pray for miracles that we are needing in our own families. And so whatever those prayers are, we, I invite you to come forward and be prayed over by our prayer team. Um, they have been trained in the um, prayers that they pray and they use the grace that they receive in their baptism um, to, to, to bring about the healing power of Christ in our midst. And we know and we expect our prayers to be answered and we expect miracles because Jesus loves you and wants to heal you. If you'd like more information on this topic, please contact us. And if this information is inspiring to you, please pass it on to your family and friends, coworkers, and parishioners. If you'd like to see more video content in the future, make sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube.